As the world watches Japan's unfolding nuclear crisis, Canada's nuclear regulator has announced a leak here at home. The Pickering nuclear generating station outside of Toronto has released tens of thousands of litres of demineralized water into Lake Ontario. So for more on what that means, Andrew Nichols joins us now from the newsroom. So uh, how big of a deal is this, Andrew? Well, according to uh, Ontario Power Generation, which is the company that runs the nuclear, nuclear power plant in Pickering, about 40 kilometres east of Toronto, it is not a big deal. It's nothing to worry about. There is radioactive water that has gone into Lake Ontario. Lake Ontario is the water source for millions of people in the greater Toronto area and beyond. Uh, but while it's very low levels, it is uh, definitely something that should not happen. Have a listen. The uh, demineralized water which was released uh, and, and, and went into Lake Ontario has a very, very trace amount of, of tritium in it. Uh, the uh, allowable limit for tritium in drinking water in Ontario is 7,000 becquerels per litre. Uh, this will add about 0.56 of a, uh, of a beca uh, becquerel uh, per litre to, to the lake water. What's and Rashmi, I did ask a spokesperson at Ontario Power Generation, what do you think about the timing of, of all of this, given what is happening in Japan right now? And he said, well, it's unfortunate that these things happen. Well, because of what's happening in Japan, dominating headlines, I'm sure people in the community are reacting to this news. No, there's no doubt about it. They are. In fact, uh, CBC reporters have been in Pickering today talking to people there. And because of exactly that, because as you mentioned, people are talking about what is happening in Japan, some concerns there, it is definitely top of mind for people in this country. People in Pickering were getting quite scared, but we were reassured that, um, you know, what happened in Japan, that, that took a lot for, you know, the big quake and the tsunami and that uh, everything, you know, that it would be very rare for that, something like that to happen here. Now, uh, I also spoke with Gordon Edwards, who's the head of the Canadian Coalition for Nuclear Responsibility, and when he hears the words negligible amounts of radioactive water, this is his response. What in the hell is negligible about 73,000 litres? Uh, so that's a concern there. And he also says that there's, there's too much focus and too much responsibility and trust that's put into the nuclear industry to safeguard our drinking water supply and to safeguard issues and accidents like the one that seems to have happened. So, uh, you know, that's, that's his point of view. The Canadian Nuclear Safety Commission, though, which is kind of the overseer of all of this, says the radiological risk to the environment and to people's health is negligible, and they, along with Environment Canada, are going to continue to monitor the situation. Rashman. Andrew, thanks for this. Okay.